Good afternoon, everyone. Silver Dragon here, coming at you with some more From the Depths. Going to be continuing the campaign in a little bit here. Now, of course, for the past while now, I've wanted to build an airship and, you know, get something like this ridiculousness flying around and, you know, something designed that works really well and could be applied well to combat. Unfortunately, when I was testing it out a little bit, trying to build something, I just could not for the life of me get it to work properly. I absolutely sucked at building them, and it just, it didn't turn out well at all. It just didn't turn out well. So, I'm going to be cheating a little bit. Uh, luckily, when I picked up the uh, little pack here I'm running, I actually got the press pack from the dev, which comes with a whole lot of vehicles that other players have already made, including sea craft, aircraft, subs, spaceships, ridiculous, ridiculous craft. I'm going to show off a couple of these ridiculous crafts and some of the interesting little intricate things they do. Uh, let me see if I can find the Federation Battlecruiser here. This is a ship, but it's a very badass ship for many reasons. One, it's huge. Look at it. It's just like, what the F? What the F huge? It's covered in shields, as you can see here, which protects from projectiles, not missiles. So missiles, you would use missiles to get through there here and destroy the... Uh, destroy the well shield generators then shoot the thing up but anyway I digress the thing that makes this ship amazing is not how large it is or the shields or anything like that it's the back part of it right here all of these little repair tentacles are here for a reason this ship actually spawns its own support fleet independently it's starting right now this will hold it in its position so we have two different support ships that it spawns in a missile satellite which is just a you know look at this a basic AI satellite with a couple missile launchers and a AI little I guess barge I guess I could call this a little barge ship it doesn't move it just kind of floats there targets enemies and then launches torpedoes this one launches missiles and they would track to the enemy and attack it. So this will constantly start spawning in these kind of units. So you can do a whole lot of similar things like this, like create little, you know, floating death tower or death satellites and just launch them constantly from your ship by going into the uh, spawning and I just dropped it on my head. <laughs> Lol. Whoops, whoops. And you can actually see from above here, it's got a nice pirate symbol on the back, which makes it absolutely badass but anyway I digress let's uh we let me free let me free let's kind of look through this here but anyway there's also some really insane flying ships but they're so insane that it would almost be impractical to with how much resources they cost to actually spawn them in I am going to spawn one of those right now just to kind of show it off a bit load vehicle it's near the bottom here. The Stratopolis uses, you see, 121,000 metal, 374,000 scrap. It's ridiculous. Frack, I gotta get down, gotta get down. Oh, there we go, barely. Trying to, oh, I nailed it for once. Nailed it. Now, this thing takes off, and once I touch down, the forces of the ship are actually working on me so I can easily it's so difficult to get on the ship successfully anyway as you can see this is just a massive ridiculous ship that just flies around I could not build anything like this it's just it's too it's too awesome for me now we have all kinds of missiles that get launched out of this baby we got the cannons on the side which are kind of cool but the big thing is the frontal guns. Let me actually kind of face forward here if I can and show you what these crazy guns do. Could you imagine getting hit by that barrage? Barrage of death? We kind of aim down towards the sea. That would just be ridiculous to get hit by. It's just like fla absolute flak death. Anything that this hits would just be decimated. It even has like a, some rams up front here, so I suppose you could ram it into another ship if you wanted to. But yeah, this is like something that I would love to have, but I can't even imagine the you know what I would have to do to afford the cost of this thing. We got missiles on the side, guns down on the side here that could probably lean down and fire at some enemies like. 
this thing is just amazing. The amount of time someone must have invested to build this beast. But likewise, as I said, this is not the beast we will be uh, flying around as it's way, way too expensive. I would love to, but too expensive. So let me see if I can get off this ship. No, let me down. Let me down. Okay, I seem to be encountering a little bit of an area. Let me rest restart the designer. I have two big ships out. I might as well restart it just in case any issues pop up. Do, 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 do. But yes, the vehicle that we will be flying around and having some fun with is also AI controlled. So I really don't have to do anything with it, but I can fly it around if I want to myself. Pardon me. Damn steam. Alright, where the hell is it? It's D, actually. Here we go. Dulux, or Dual MX, I should say. And then my custom version of it, because this, for a well, while, we'll see the reasons in a second here. This is a badass little ship that is also made out of ridiculous amounts of metal, lightweight metal. Now, this makes it incredibly expensive, but what makes this a little flyer, you know, badass? Well, not a whole lot. I mean, it only has these gigantic missile batteries on the side that fire ridiculous amounts of rounds. Let me see if I can aim it forward. Little, little flying enemies going around here. Of course, I've edited this with uh, my custom version to have uh, a lot more staggerings. These are all IR missiles, explosive missiles. I have then replaced them with uh, IR fragmentation rounds. So they'll be uh, delayed in their firing and just be a little more interesting for that. We also have, if I can launch it down here, one missile that kind of drops out of the bottom and gets launched for fi you know firing against any uh, sea vehicles. It's a big major little missile here. Has a whole bunch of frag rounds, fuel tanks. So it's a long range anti-surface missile basically. Let me see if I can launch it again once it's reloaded. It takes a long time for a large missile like this to reload. So it's just gonna be a way there we go. Kind of drops, engages, and then seeks out its seeks out its enemies. It's really, really, really cool, actually. But let me uh whoops, let me actually go up top here. Let me hop off here. Whee! Let me load in my custom version. Alright. Now this guy's a little bit different. He has some uh, heat decoys down the bottom here to absorb any missiles that get fired at it, so that we don't have to worry about it, in, you know, getting destroyed. Let me fire off some missiles here. Whoops! Actually, I fired off the wrong missiles. Oh crap! He's gonna ram us! He's gonna ram us! Oh no! Hunk! Face missile hell! Obviously, we're too close to these to do any damage, but still. Does have some little. little bits on it. Uh oh. He's coming for me! Run away! So, the only real difference between mine is I had the staggered fire add on to this, so, well, actually, the item was already on it. I just made sure that each of the missiles were staggered a little bit better. I changed out all of the, or most of the metal, lightweight metal, for wood, and it added on more fuel, fuel converters, and ammo generators for this thing. Actually, where the hell are my ammo generators? For some reason, they did not get saved last time. Weird. Resources. Ammo processors. There we go. So those two babies will uh, produce our ammo for us. And uh, that should be dandy. Alright, with that, let's uh, actually transition over. Because this thing, in comparison, actually has a lot more reasonable resources. We do use up a little bit more crystals, but we cut in half on what we cut in half the metal usage, and the scrap usage goes down massively. So I think I'm gonna fly this baby around, see how it does against enemies. Like I actually spawned in. Let me actually do that right now. We're starting vehicle designer for a second, and I'll quickly show this guy off. And I think I'm gonna go into the campaign and build him. 
Okay, so quickly load. Custom. Load. Resume. Gotta get on that thing quickly. Err, before it takes off. Okay, now let's go and... Are we flying? We are, okay. Enemy spawn GUI. We'll spawn a very familiar target. The Atlas. So I'm gonna let our ship kind of take care of him. Where is he? There he is. So you watch these missiles will just absolutely... He spawned a little too close. So my missiles are having nothing but difficulty finding him. It's even just ramming him. This is a terrible example. This is... This is an absolutely terrible example of a good firefight. Like, my guy would be engaging him at a much, much, much farther range. Now, there's still a lot of tweaking to be done with this thing. There's, you know, I gotta mess with its ranges that it'll fire and such. But it's, it's still, it, it's pretty nice for any kind of airship I could have come up with. I mean, in comparison, I would have just come up with some absolute crap thing that would have done so poorly. Uh, let's see here. Spawn in the east. There we go, let's spawn, spawn him a distant, decent distance away. Let's see if we can actually... No, he can't follow those missiles right now. But you can see they just hit him at a long, at any range like this. They just sh absolutely shred him. He's already lost all his balloons. He's going down. He's getting absolutely obliterated by these guys. Look at this. The delay is helping them quite a bit. Look at that, he's already completely shredded. So stuff like this will not even last a couple seconds against this beast. That's why I like it. Obviously it uses up an absolute ton of ammo, which is its downside, but you know, other than that, look at this. Look how quickly this thing just decimates an enemy. So that ship went down and just like was zap. Absolutely decimated. Alright. Now it's going to cost me quite a bit, I'm sure, in metal to re keep using this thing. And again, I actually need to remember to save this design because I keep uh, having to replace my ammo processors. <laughs> oh, damn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. No, I should probably take those off. I don't want it to overproduce too much. Okay. Save vehicle, save over. Now I don't have to worry about it. It's saved properly. So I'm going to use this little guy right here and see how well he works. I can always uh, I can always make something else myself later. But I wanted something that works just because I'm going to want to engage the enemy's main fortress here next episode. So I want to get something going fast here. Load game. Load save one. But yeah, you can... Like making a... Uh, Making an air vehicle something that flies is not difficult. Making one that's perfectly balanced and that you know is you know really well done is not. Like I I've made a did make an air vehicle. It's just that it did not perform very well at all. At all. Okay, where are we? Oh yeah, we took off. We took over this resource zone, didn't we? Actually, I think we were still in battle last time, but for some reason we won. Instantly when we load it in it's kind of weird, but whatever. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fault it. So let's uh, back up here We'll get another resource gathering zone or zone fortress uh, Tuned up actually, you know, I need a break space 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 Let me tab over here for a second I actually got to edit this guy here as well with a couple of different things actually For one, let's go MISC. Get some repair bots in here. Alright. Now I want to go blocks, wood block. And where is it? It's in. Is it an air or MISC? I can't remember air heat decoy now the heat decoy will actually attract all the enemy missiles towards it
Did I go up one? No, I didn't. Urch, urch, urch. So, we'll save my ship from being decimated by missiles. At least, sort of. <laughs> it can only be so effective, you know? Okay, now. I need to pull back my engine and expand it some more. Because this thing is absolutely ridiculous in the, cons in the energy it's about to consume. So I need to do a little bit more expanding. And yes, I did use way too many of these pumps. Even one pump here is just as effective as five pumps. Okay. Blocks, wood block, wood block. There we go. That should be good for that. Let's go engines. Engine block. Put that right there. Crankshaft. Carburetors. Alt. I keep forgetting I can use the... I can use those two buttons, space and alt, to move this thing up and down. That is... My bad. Ooh, and I had it placed just perfectly. Okay. Perfect. Let's get a couple superchargers and carburetors. And an engine zone fuel tank. Okay, now, let's uh, go ahead and block this baby off. Dear God, it sounds like I'm going fishing. What the hell? Whoops. Maybe I am. I just don't know yet. Now, obviously the tower here is not really well defended at all. It has... it has its issues. Weird. It's like the, when the camera dips underwater, it's flipping out or something. Yeah, that's odd. Okay, anyway, water. Let's get a... Where the hell is it? Air pump. Oh, that must be... Uh, this must be something new in build 10 or 150. Or whatever it is at this point. Yeah, 1.50. Anyway, let's go water. Propeller. Rudder. Now... Just the heat decoys, yes, they will use up energy, but they are not the reason why I, you know, expanded that. The reason why I expanded it is because I forgot a very cool new aspect that has been, well, not new, it's been, it's been in the game for a while. I just never really seem to use it. And that's going to change now. The shield projector. Now, you only want to, you can tell it to disrupt or to reflect. To disrupt, it will disrupt the path of projectiles. Larger the angle that it is, the larger the deflection will be. Increase further to increase deflection. Or we have the reflect. Uh, chance to ricochet projectiles away. Increase with angle. So I want to reflect them away from this ship. So let me zoom out a bit. I don't really want to zoom around it though, if I can help it. But anyway, uh, let's see. I want the range. I want to be a lot closer. Get the width going. Now, it won't actually pop up until we raise the width and the height. The height is going to be the big thing. And we also want to angle it. That's We want to keep that one generally straight. There we go. But I do want to angle it like so. Let me see if that's perfect. Set the range out a little bit. Angle it a bit more. Alright, increase its strength quite a bit. 
and then we'll probably increase the width and especially the height there we go and that covers our whole ship or our whole back end here and any shots that happen to go towards it will be reflected away from it we'll max that out to 10 now you can see that uses up a quite a bit amount of energy so we don't want to use this too often I am going to use one more though urge urge Oops, ah yes, I forgot I have to actually click on the uh, turret in order to build on it. Indeed. So, for this guy, again, height, width, reflect. Like trying to set it up here so I can actually see the damn thing, but it's being a pain in my ass. There we go. No, oh, wrong way. Let's go the opposite direction. Okay. Increase the width of this baby, the height. That looks pretty good as is right there. Obviously, the strength has got to be huge for that. I like to angle it really sharply if I can. That way it should help a lot with the uh, deflection, or a lot more with the deflection, I should say. Now you can see, just having those two shields has drained my engine here down to half, just having these two strong shields here. And actually, I could tweak the uh, width of this guy a bit more. And you can see even more so, my engines are like sputtering and wanting to die. Let me, uh, let me lower the height a bit. And probably the strength of this one doesn't have to be too strong. So there we go. Alright, that's looking good. So now these shields should block any, any incoming enemy fire toward, or at least any uh, enemy uh, rounds. Gun rounds. It won't deflect missiles. So that's why I have the uh, heat decoys off to either side. And I have no idea where we are anymore. I'm like, uh, where's the resource zone? Where's my other ship? I'm lost. Ah. I was spending so much time concentrating on that thing, I've lost where the hell I was supposed to get. I was supposed to be. Return to friendly zone. I'm gonna return back to here in a second. I just need to, you know, reset my guys because they kind of. He was driving. He was just freaking plowing away while I was setting all that stuff up, and I completely didn't notice and. That was bad. That was bad. <laughs> Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Chair is empty. Please wait. Please wait. Oh, don't you dare crash on me, you little bastard. Okay. Now, return to friendly zone. And this punk too, I guess. Okay, return. That should put me roughly under the resource zone, so we can start building our fortress there and get it mining, because we need those resources here in order to build our brand new airship. Brand spanking new airship! Yeah! Okay, where are we at? Perfect. Okay. Build. Not on you. Constructible fortress. Now, I don't really have to build a fortress. If I wanted to, I could build other things, but I just really like fortresses. Whoop. Wow, you really want to lag freeze a lot today, don't you? I'm not sure exactly what your problemo is, but keep it to yourself, damn it. Okay. Blocks. Engine. Bunch of crankshafts. Okay. Cylinders. That's all I really need is probably that. Okay. Carburetors.
suppose I better get one in place here before it freaks out on me. Okay. Let's go engine zone fuel tank. Whoops. Remove the carburetor. Replace that. Why not? Let's get some supercharges in here. And finally some exhausts. Okay, now. Resources. Let's get a uh, fuel processor. And one oil, or is it? Here we go, fuel storage tank. Now, oil drills. Oops. Luckily, this thing won't fall if I destroy one block of wood in this thing. However, I destroy the engine, on the other hand, and the whole thing will come crashing down. Okay. And I haven't even really gotten serious in the building here yet. I still have a whole another about a bit of stuff to do with this thing. Of course, with the at least with the resources that is. No, it seems like the superchargers are making enough of a difference here now. Okay, so resources. Time for some resource gathering machines. Oh, yes. Three, four, six, seventy nine, ten. Let's go engine, carburetor. There we go. Just enough to deal with all of its little problems. All of its little woes. Exhaust. I'll put some exhaust every now and then. Okay. I'll get one more drill, I think. One more oil drill. And then I'll leave it at that. That should be enough to get a lot of resources for us. So, let's see here. We're draining this guy dry. The others are being drained fairly well. Let's see. Uh, we're currently draining 432 negative on um, the natural. We can still probably get at least one or two more drills there to deplete the metal properly. Out there, other than that, though, we're look, looking pretty good for that. Turned area map. These guys are, for the most part, it looks staying constantly drained. Looks like our main base, however, is still having some problems with that. Anyway, I'll leave this guy here for now. Or actually, no, let me let me move him. Let me return a friendly area. Let me move myself down near center. Him, on the other hand, I'll put him near there. Okay. Then I'm gonna return back to the cap ship and begin the construction of this beast. Looks like I don't quite have enough for it though, so I might have to make sure on the resource cost of this thing before I start making it. I really don't want to, you know, end up with half a ship. That would be unfortunate. <laughs> okay. Turn to friendly area. Uh, let's move you down here. Down. Good enough. Return. Hopefully I won't drop right on the damn thing, but we'll see what happens. I'll have to alter this ship a little bit as well. To enhance it. I'm not sure if I'll add a... Uh, probably could, though. I probably could add a uh, shield generator on front here. To deflect a lot of those rounds. Uh, why not? I could probably even build it like... Uh, let me see here. Misc. Shield projector, something like so. Oh yes, reflect. Now let's see if I can angle you down. Actually, I'm going the wrong. I'm going too fast. 
breaks. Okay. Let's lower you down a bit, my friend. Increase width, increase height. Massively increase width, increase height. Okay, there we go. Lower height a bit. Okay. All right, and then strength, of course. Make her huge. I oh, can't handle that much. So just a minor four should do it. There we go. So I now have a shield generator on my ship. Let me actually see if I can take my pistol here and take a pot shot at it. You can see right like that. It just deflects right off the shield. Any physical rounds should do that. Missiles will rip right through and start blowing holes in my ship. But hopefully we'll be fine. Hopefully we'll be fine. <laughs> All right, let's see, resources. No resources, wood. Blocks. I guess that won't work, will it? Hmm. Ooh, it will if I do it like that. That is true. Ho, ho. Resources, resource gatherers. I see. I always accidentally hit G every now and then locks the damn thing, which is a little annoying. Resource, resource gatherers. Alright. That should get us some resources in no time. Beautiful. So let's see what I actually need to build this beast. Also, my ship there may be in the way. So, where is my little monster? So I need 3,000, or 3,000, 30,000 metal, 19 material, and then uh, pretty cheap for the rest. I'm approaching what I need. I may need a little bit more scrap. And metal is the main resource I need right now. But other than that, it's not too bad. So I'll let scrap turn on for a bit. So I can get up to the 9,000 odd scrap I need. Then I just need a little bit more metal. I might even just attack the enemy once more and then spawn in that unit. And that will give me what I need. But it looks like I'm already 30 minutes out here. So I've adjusted my ships a little bit. Gave them shield generators. Improved them a little bit. And now I have this interesting little airship that I'm going to produce here soon. So let me know what you guys think. Obviously, I did take the cheap way out here. I can't. I just tried I tried designing something, and it didn't really function fairly well. So I'll say 9,500 scrap, and then I can stop. All right. It's actually this one little thing here produces it quite quickly, surprisingly enough. But yeah, it's a badass little ship. Like, all the, like, people really get inventive with this game. I mean, there's literally two other airships. One is a flying chicken, literally. It's like a, it's like a giant chicken. And the other one is a dragon, which is, I think I mentioned previously, almost looks like a, uh, you know, T-Rex kind of statue with wings you would see at some amusement park somewhere. Anyway, this is almost getting done here, so... And 80... Come on, 90, and good enough. Shut her down. Shut her down, baby. Shut her down. How much metal do I need? We got enough. Alright. Load this him. Load him up. Whoops. Oh... Fuck no! I just deleted it by mistake. Oh, rage face! I'll have to go down there and load it, or and resave it again. It's gonna be spawned underwater, and it's being built well while it's not secure. So that's a problem. For many, many reasons, that's a problem. But we do have so many of them uh, building it, so we should be all right. Let me back up here. 
You do have a lot of tentacles building this thing, so hopefully it'll get into a semi-functioning condition so I can quickly go resave the design. Hi, caramba. I was trying to stop it from building so I could rebuild it again while it was, you know, in a better condition. Back off here a bit. We fly on over here. Oh god, this is terrible. I'm trying to back it up and stop it, but it's not really listening to me right now. Because the AI is controlling it. Okay, it looks like it's saved for the most part, so let me save constructible. Save. Now, map. Let's go. Let's go to area map, actually. Let's engage this area with. You know what? No, no, no. Engage that area with my shredder. And this guy. I'll spawn it in the air and crew that ship. Okay, return to friendly area. Just so I spawn on this ship. Hopefully. We'll see. If it spawns me in the chair, then success. And I can fly it around for a bit and bask in its glory before we call it for today. Yay! It worked! And it looks mostly intact. Yep, missiles are intact, everything looks good, nothing was really destroyed or damaged. So beautiful, we have our badass little ship here now. Seems like I might have some engine problems though that I might need to fix. Because the engines weren't really designed to deal with this kind of stress that I'm putting it in, putting it on, putting it under. Derp. Trying to determine where it ends so I can customize it up a little bit. Oh, the AI core is not too far from it. In which case. Let me quickly build another secondary engine here. Please don't crash into that mountain while I'm building. I appreciate it. Oh, damn. Looks like it's not quite listening to me, so I'm going to have to control it myself here a second. Steer it to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. There we go. Would have crashed into that mountain two seconds later if I hadn't turned it. Carburetors. Hi, Karumba. This is exactly the kind of motion I was getting with mine as well. As it just kind of wants to sway a lot up and down and all over the damn place. It's really kind of awkward, actually. Come on, build properly, damn you. Engine zone fuel tanks. That helped a little bit. At least. I'll have to enhance this later. Obviously, this is kind of the pitiful defense for this engine, but you know what? It's what I'm going to have right now. Oops. I should remove the fuel processor by accident. Whoops. Whoops. Okay. So now this thing is sort of covered and we have a flying ship. T 
tee hee. <laughs> uh, anyway, maybe maybe one day, one day I can design things as epic as this thing is. Okay, good enough. Good enough. We have a basic kind of shell over that thing. And we fly. So that's all we really need. I mean, come on. So next time around, I will engage the enemy's next zone. Let me go to the map quickly. We'll engage this 20 zone, 7-2, and then we're going to engage their fortress. Should be excellent. And after that, we'll have to see what happens. We'll have to see what happens. Till next time, though, thank you for watching. Have a great one, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.